Good afternoon everybody. So today we just talked you through some of the projects that I've been working on this week. Now those of you that read the newsletters will know that I tend to flip from one thing to another. Um, and Leslie was a bit horrified when I laid all this out because it's a bit messy but to be honest when I'm at home it gets much much messier than this. But I just thought I'd talk you through why I tend to flip from one thing to another and what I've been working on this week. Um, this is my newest whip, work in progress, which are these squares in Stylecraft Special DK. Now, we're new stockies of Styles Craft Special DK. We only got it in a couple of weeks ago. We stock all 55 shades and the five mingled. Um, and we've been reading so much about it. Loads and loads of bloggers and crocheters and knitters are using it for blankets, etc. It was the yarn I'd always stayed cleared off because it was acrylic. And I don't tend to do much in acrylic. Um, I just tend to like something with a bit of wool in it. However, I was tempted to try it. And I've done these squares, uh, which I've taken from a pattern from a blogger called Little Tim Bird. Um, and I love it. It doesn't feel like an acrylic. It's not squeaky at all. It feels beautifully soft when it's done. Um, I am doing these squares with um, a, a certain somebody in mind, but I'm not going to say who at the moment because they won't get it for a while. Um, but that person will probably just want to throw it in the washing machine, if wash it at all, and the acrylic will be perfect for it. Um, so it's a fabulous colour palette and it's great for blankets, which is what all of these are going to be. Um, I'm also doing some knitting, so I say I've been doing a bit of everything this week, and I'm doing this garment at the Debbie Blitz Bliss Rustic Knits book, which is this garment on the front, and that's actually, next week we go to um, a show at Olympia, and this is actually to go on the back wall of the show, um, and it's the cable garment, I'm hoping once it's been at the show I can wear it. Um, it's done in Winter Garden, which we've got reduced at the moment, and it's a beautiful, beautiful mix. It's a 100 gram hank, and it's a mix of wool, silk, llama, and linen. And it's really, really soft. I'm also knitting it on my ever very favourite needles, um, Lantern Moon, which I love. Now, I don't tend to knit things which are super chunky because I don't like really, really chunky needles. Um, and it was a bit of a struggle to get used to it, but it does grow really quickly, so I don't have to knit it for too long. Um, so hopefully, I'm saying that's going to be finished this weekend, but fingers crossed. Now, I've also gone back and after my success of my very first nine block, I'm doing a small amount of patchwork which is this, um, which is done in these fabrics, which are Nell Watmore, the part of Nell's vintage collection, Memory Lane, I think it's called. Um, and I'm actually doing this for a friend of mine who has just had a baby. She is going to remain nameless, but if she watches this, she might well guess. And I'm doing just simple squares. I'm then going to go round it in that with a border, and then it's going to be backed in this fabric. Again, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying doing patchwork, but I'm trying to stick to simple, small projects till I get used to it. Um, and again, hopefully, I'm saying I'm going to have that finished over the weekend, but we'll see. Um, I'll let you know next time. Thanks.